So it just lines up just like that and you just pull the trigger and then you can adjust the, the angle of it and the pitch of it. You don't want it, you know, vertical, you want it kind of in the angle. What's up guys? So today we're going to start with the flooring. Yeah. So we're getting close to the end. Um, for, I showed you just a glimpse of it. This is our engineer hardwood, tie and groove. Um, and then we just started putting down the underlayment for then some of the noise and a little bit of R value, but not much. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start in this corner here and then just slowly work our way into the living room. Um, we got some things to do today, so we're hoping just to get a little portion done. We just got done doing the island yesterday, so and that turned out really good. Um, so if you could, like, share, subscribe, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video.
What is up guys? I know you are watching through time lapse right now, but I just want to show you where we're at. We just have a few more rows left. We have to do the kitchen still of an island. So, and sorry for that kind of messy house. So each one of these is seven and a half. They come in, I, I believe like a longest is 74 inches. Um, and the smallest I believe is like 20, 25. So, and then we just have just those, just two boards left. To cut to finish those or two sections of boards two rows yeah <laughs> yeah two rows so two rows left just need to cut a strip there um but yeah it's it's actually turned out really really well um i've never laid i've never laid engineered hardwood so this is my first time i've laid a little bit of hardwood so I was like, well, it can't be that much different. Um, just make sure you're squared. So I'm just using the, the bow stitch. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong, but oh well. Um, and all it does is instead of using a regular pneumatic nailer, um, this is a staples. So I went with an inch and a quarter. So it just lines up. Just like that and then you just pull the trigger and then you can adjust the the angle of it and the pitch of it you don't want it you know vertical you want to kind of in an angle so and i've used so i i bought i was like you know i don't know how many you're supposed to do like six inches of staples in between or six inches for every staple and I was like, well, I don't know, I don't know how many staples I'm gonna use. So I bought like four boxes of 3,000 a piece. And this is what we have left of the 3,000. So whether I staple too much or not enough, we'll never know unless she starts warping and cracking. <laughs> but, and then the cool thing is this only need to acclimate for Three days. Um, I know, I believe traditionally hardwoods, you need like two, three weeks, two weeks in the room that you're going to be um, laying them in. So, yeah. So we're almost, almost done. But I just want to jump on here real quick and just kind of give you a little bit more detail on uh, how we're doing it. So. The floor is all done. Turned out really good. Honestly, I, it's like a week later, I started editing the video and I forgot that um, I didn't close out the video. So I'm making it now. But yeah, the floor turned out really good. Everything had really no issues. Um, it's all time groove, so it went in pretty easily. And, and then we'll probably put a big rug here, I think. I don't know for the dogs, because the dogs like to get on the couch. But yeah. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you could, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.